Okay guys, it's been a little bit of time since I've made a video about a new model. Now I'm going to preface this video by saying that I will probably be using Claude code until the foreseeable future. However, a lot of people are talking about Kimi K2. You can see right here, it's really being used by a lot of people. Kilo code, almost 7 billion tokens. Klein, almost 6 billion tokens. This is a model that people are saying is actually pretty damn good. So we're going to put it to the test today. Okay, so if you don't know, I have my SOP here. Uh, this is my benchmark for creating something. So we're going to run through this today. It's been a while since I've used Klein, but I'm sure we'll be able to jump straight back into things. So the first thing we do is we create a new Next.js app. This is just because a lot of things like Klein, etc. have problems with this. So we'll call this Kimi K2. And then we'll just spam yes here. And then this will install, uh, sorry, this will install Next.js into this new uh, folder, right? So I'm gonna open up a previous um, attempt at this and I'm gonna get to public. And I'm just gonna copy the images folder. That'll make sense in just a moment. Basically, I'm giving images to the project. By the way, if you're interested in all my prompts and just you know a little bit of help with all of this coding stuff, definitely check out the school community. I've really gone into a lot of detail on a lot of this stuff, how I use it, et cetera, et cetera. So what we can do here is we can CD Kimi. In fact, we can just control click here and now we're inside uh, the project, right? So I'll do new folder public. I fucking hate augment code. New folder public. And then inside public, we're gonna paste images like that. Then we're gonna go to climb and we'll use open router, I guess. And we're going to use Kimi uh, K2. I believe it's this one. Jesus, it doesn't support anything. Uh, let's see. Kimi K2, Kimi K2. Yeah, this is the one that everyone's using and everyone's talking about. So, okay, let's uh, give this a go. So we'll just give this a one prompt. So this is the prompt right here. So I'll give it here and then I'll just say, <coughs> you're inside the new, it's inside Kimi. Kimi K2. Okay, and then we're just going to hit enter here. Good luck. Have fun. Let's see what it does. Okay, so the first thing it does is it checks what's inside the folder, which is a good sign. It means that it has the intelligence to make sure of things before continuing. So let me examine the current Next.js setup. That's also a good sign. This is what Claude does every single time. Okay, ju just for some context, guys, I want to show you what Claude Code created yesterday. One shot completely perfect website right everything is amazing here this is what we're benchmarking against right uh claude codes by far the best system i've ever used i'm just curious to see if anything even comes close so we can kind of keep an eye on this this is normally 300 lines long so 219 is not too bad just as, as a quick aside guys if you're curious about how i get all of my data I use Bright Data's service. They have an amazing MCP. If I just go here and type MCP, it's a it's kind of annoying to set up. You just need you need an API key. You need to kind of know what you're doing. But if you go on into the description of the video, you can get 15 bucks for free to try this out. It's extremely cheap. It's extremely good value, and you can scrape in pages that you wouldn't normally be able to scrape even with Gina. So if you have a special kind of um, scraping requirement, such as LinkedIn right, then definitely check out Bright Data and their MCP. Thank you to Bright Data for being a sponsor of the channel. I have to say, guys, so far, I'm pretty impressed with uh, the result here. Like, obviously, I haven't tested it or anything, but the code looks pretty solid. Okay, wow, this is the first kind of open source model. It's not free, but you can use a free version of it. This is the first model that actually follows the prompt and attempts to actually build the project. That's impressive, guys. I'm definitely impressed by this model so far. Let's see if it actually works. Holy shit. Guys, it it did it. It created everything. Wow, not even like... M most GPT models can't do this. Gemini struggles with this. Okay, before I press this button right here, I have never in my life had an open source model successfully build... Uh you know, anything of any value. So, I mean, this could be the moment where things change. I know this is the paid version of the model, I understand that, but 
If this works, and if there's code here, and if all the buttons work, this is as good as something like Claude Sonic 3.7. This is a moment of truth for me, okay? I never, I didn't think this would happen for a long time. Let's have a look. Let's see if it actually works. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, it actually looks decent <sighs> as well. Oh, damn, it has some 404. So there are some 404s here. I, I'm not that surprised. Let's see if Italy works. It does. Okay, this isn't a 404. Some, some things are 404 ing. It's unfortunate. Okay, but it's probably quite an easy fix, right? I could just control C this and say, these are 404 ing. Please fix. It looks like there might just be a, a small problem with that. But like overall, it's done the best job of any free slash open source slash whatever the fuck you even want to call this model a any of these models ever right so i'm i'm impressed it built it no problem it built it as in like npm run build it did everything i'm impressed it even e even the language uh switcher works which even something like gemini 2.5 pro or sonnet 4 still has problems with this sometimes right now, Claude Code's system for coding makes it hard for Claude Sonic to make mistakes, to be honest with you. But just like overall, guys, this is the best. I keep wanting to say free slash open source model. I'm pretty sure if you go on models on Open Router or if you search Kimmy K2, there is a free version of this. I'll probably do the same test tomorrow with this free version. One million, one trillion tokens total. Absolutely crazy, guys. I think I'll leave the video there. I, I think this has just shown people that, you know, there is a hope for open source projects. China smashing it again. Absolutely love it, guys. Honestly, I love the competition. I hate companies like OpenAI, Google, to, to a lesser extent, Anthropic. I don't hate Anthropic as much. But just the way that they treat us with their models just degenerating and... You know, they release them super hype, super hype, everything's amazing, blah, blah, blah. And then one week later, they're terrible. So if it's a case where I can run a free model that is as good as Gemini 2.5 Pro, why would I not use the free model, right? Gemini 2.5 Pro is actually quite expensive. So hopefully this will kick some of the other AI companies in the ass and get them to work that little bit harder and get them to stop fucking around with model intelligence. While I've been making this video, I've been trying to code something on the side, right? Literally just trying to remove this white space with Claude code. I've been trying to do it for an hour now, and I still haven't managed to do it. I have a sneaky suspicion if I ran this through Kimmy K2, it would actually fix the problem. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.